Hi, folks. Welcome to Crisco's Corner. Well, 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 folks, here we are. A jury in less than two days has given its verdict to Donald Trump guilty on all 34 felony counts. Now, there's a lot going on in the world, but this story is taking precedence over everything, so we have to cover it. I put the flag in the corner like that on purpose because that is a symbol for Americans in trouble, and we are. I've done jury duty in the past. To get a jury to agree on all 34 counts in less than two days is a joke and a travesty of justice, whether you hate Donald Trump or not. This whole thing was predetermined from the beginning. They're all going to act like they're just letting justice prevail. It's a lie and a fallacy. They don't know what to do with Donald Trump. In fact, they, Democrats didn't know what to do in the media back in 2015 and 16. They don't know how to handle him because Republicans are notorious for being spineless, gutless. Oh, don't, don't call me names. Don't call me a racist. Uh, I'll be quiet. Uh, just leave me alone. And that's pretty much what Republicans have done over the years. At almost every level, local, all state, federal, everywhere. I was a local elected official in the early 2000s. I was a city councilman in upstate New York for eight years. And the Democrats, who I used to be one when I was on city council, not anymore, I'm a Republican. We were the attack dogs. Now, I used that tactic to go after things that the local Republicans were doing wrong and just just was ridiculous. But I realized over time, the Democratic Party has morphed into something, it's, it's not describable. They've turned into this monster. Granted, Democrats and Republicans have always fought against each other, used dirty tactics and tricks, Watergate used the intelligence services and government agencies to disrupt Democrats. That's election interference and so on and so on. But now it's a Democrat's turn. This is interference on steroids. So I put that flag in the corner on purpose because we are in crisis. Having said that, having said that, what is going to happen. The Every time I, the, the Democrats pull something unbelievable, I say they've crossed the Rubicon. And those of you who know a little bit about Roman history, it's when Caesar marched soldiers across the Rubicon into Rome, which is against their rules. No, no soldiers near Rome, but he did it anyway. And there was no going back from that. And every time the Democrats pull something, I say they've crossed the Rubicon, there's no going back, but they double down every time. This isn't about politics anymore. This is about power and control. Every other Republican, at least in my lifetime, except for maybe Ronald Reagan, but Ronald Reagan too included to a lesser degree, was controlled by the deep state, the intelligence agencies to a certain extent, some more than others, granted. Uh, Bush Jr. and Bush Sr. were controlled very much by the deep state. Ronald Reagan, not so much, but in part, the deep state was still there, but didn't have the power and the audacity and the nerve to do what they're doing now. This stopped being about Donald Trump long ago. And again, what happened with that verdict It stopped being about Donald Trump again. This is about the future of our country. I'm 67 years old. I'll be 68 this November. I would never have thought of this 10 years ago, just five years ago. 
even when Donald Trump was first sworn in, I, I never would have thought this would have happened. That the Democrats would have the nerve to actually do this. To take the Constitution and wipe their butts with it. To burn everything down rather than lose power. Our country is in real crisis. This is the biggest crisis we've faced since the Civil War in the 1860s. Am I going to say that the Civil War is going to start again? Yes, but it won't be the same. This is a battle in that war, unlike, say, Gettysburg or Chancellorsville or Fredericksburg in the Civil War. The battles being fought now in our Civil War is lawfare. Lawfare is the new Civil War battleground. And this is a huge, huge opening battle in that fight. I don't know what's going to happen. I really don't. If this judge, three days before the Republican National Convention, is going to sentence former President Trump, if he puts him in jail, even if it's minimum security, all hell is going to break loose. That's why it's very important that Trump picks his vice presidential candidate to be his surrogate to incarcerate a former president is, is, is legal and constitutional ground nobody would even thought of. Even in a lecture hall in the most liberal colleges, law schools in the country would debate this out with any real merit. It's, it's a joke. It would never happen, but it has. And there's more trials to come. Probably the other trials won't be started until after November. But the Democrats won this battle for now. Now, this is a great tactic for them to use. There's tactics and then there's strategy. Tactics are quick wins or losses after your opponent. Strategy is long-term battle. And I'm afraid, and I'm hoping and I'm praying, two things. One, the Republican Party doesn't try to change their candidate because of this. That would be the end. That would be the end of our democratic republic. Absolutely. Give them what they want. Trump gone. Go through all of this time and money and pain to get Donald Trump off the ballot. If they do that, it's over. It's over. There's some Republicans that hate Donald Trump. They don't even want him on the ballot. If they were smart, those individuals would just shut the F up. But there's the Lincoln Project and others that are, I call them, undocumented Democrats. They have to stand behind Trump, and they have to grow a backbone and a set of balls to combat these people. They've been bringing a knife to a gunfight for years and years and years and years, and there's no turning back now. Either the Democratic Party is going to implode and disintegrate, it'll take a generation for it to come back, or the Republican Party is going to just be destroyed, disintegrated. And it will take a generation plus for it to come back. There is no middle ground anymore. One is going to be destroyed and one is going to win. There's going to be no compromise. No, let's try to get along. Let's try to find common ground. That time has passed. Just like the time had passed for talking and negotiating, when the Confederates fired on Fort Sumter and Lincoln called for 70,000 volunteers. That was the beginning of a disaster that the biggest disaster this country has ever faced. Like I said, there were battlefields then and 600,000 Americans died. The Civil War today is not going to be fought on a battlefield with conventional weapons. It's going to be fought in places like this, 
where they're going to bring their political enemies, the Democrats, they're going to bring them up on charges. They aimed very, very high when they convicted Donald Trump. We're going to have to see what the judge does. It'll be appealed, of course. But will the judge allow him freedom to move and campaign until that appeal process works itself out? The judge knows, guaranteed, that these 34 felony charges and convictions will be thrown out. He knows that. What will he do? Will he retire? Write his book? Go on his book tour around all the media? I bet you we have ghost writers writing it as we speak. His daughter makes millions off the Democratic Party. She'll probably be given millions more. She does internet ads and fundraising ads for the Democratic Party and has made millions. So they'll walk away and enrich themselves. What happens to us? What happens to us? There's some people that are calling on a blockade of New York City as far as truckers go. I can't say what I really think because this website won't allow it. They're crushing this channel at every given opportunity. So I can't speak freely, which really, really upsets me. What retaliation are the Republicans going to do? Are they going to do what they usually do? Spineless, gutless, no courage, and just throw Trump away and get another candidate? I pray not. I pray not. Well, the influx of 20 million non-citizens into the United States over the last few years. And this, if the Democrats take over power, it'll be semi-permanent. Semi being 20, 30, 40, 50 years. This stopped being about Donald Trump. This is about power and control. And the Democrats have shown they'll do anything anything to keep power. Those of you that are standing on the sidelines that were semi-warm semi compared to Trump now have to line up behind him. Every Republican, every conservative, I've seen 54% in the latest poll of independents are supporting Trump. The website where the Trump campaign collects money there are so many people trying to donate that it crashed. Everyday person that's walking around, you, your neighbor, your friends, people at work, everybody you deal with, just normal everyday people that don't get involved in this kind of thing is going to have to stand up. There's a meme that I put out. It shows Sylvester Stallone from Rambo, and it says, just wait and see what happens when the people that want to be left alone get involved. Just like the Revolutionary War. A third remained loyal to the king, a third wanted independence, and a third wanted to be left alone. And the Americans held on against all odds, high odds. The third that want to be left alone has to step in the breach now. Donald Trump has to be elected president, not because I support him, not because he's a Republican. I don't care what his party affiliation is at this point. The Democrats have to be stopped. This lawfare civil war battles have to be stopped. The bloodshed of today is not war with conventional weapons. It's a war to destroy people, parties, power, control. It reminds me of Europe in the first half of the 20th century. Two world wars, all kinds of grief. China killing tens of millions, some estimate over 100 million of their own people. Stalin doing the same. Tens of millions of his own people. We can go through Southeast Asia. All these horrible things that have happened are about power and control. 
If the Democrats have nobody to stop them, they're going to drive this country into the ground. Financially, we're on, we're on the edge of the cliff, as it is. I think Democrats are going to spend less money. It's not going to happen. They're going to spend more, and they're going to tax everybody to death, starting with the people that have money and working their way down through the middle class, which is being destroyed, and make, don't think for a minute, if you're a lower-income person, they're not coming after you next. Inflation, in, its, in itself, is the biggest tax for poor people and low-income people. They're going through that now. Everything will double in price. It'll be horrendous. Horrendous. You won't... A th- 40, 45% of this country will have zero say in how it's governed at the federal level. The federal level will take their states' rights, the rights of the states guaranteed in the Constitution, and just ignore them. They'll ignore the courts, state, federal, and otherwise. They'll ignore the Supreme Court. They'll expand the Supreme Court and fill it up with progressive Democrats. So they'll have a huge majority. They pulled that in Venezuela. What is there, 37 Supreme Court justices now in Venezuela? When the president of Venezuela walks in the Supreme Court chambers, the judges get up and clap. That's what's going to happen. Make no mistake. The biggest economy in the world, the most powerful military in the world, as Reagan said, the shining city on the hill will be gone. And it won't come back, at least not for generations, if at all. This is a turning point. I have no idea what's going to happen. But I know I can't sit idly by. I will continue to do these videos, even though they're being oppressed badly. I'll try on other platforms. I'm going to start putting stuff back on Rumble again and other places. We have to share our videos on Twitter, now X. We have to do everything we possibly can. But more importantly, to people you know, family members, friends, neighbors, co-workers, in your local school boards and city councils, to finally, the people that want to be left alone are going to have to stand up. We can't do it alone. Donald Trump is there, and this is not about him. He is just a symbol of what the Democrats will do if they gain power. Make no mistake. I learned one of the first things that I learned when I was a city councilman and on an issue or whatever it happens to be, a piece of legislation, if you don't take a side, someone else will take that side for you. And it's very rarely the side you would have picked. We can't be neutral anymore. You can't stay out of the fray anymore. This is participatory government at every level, be it local, state, or federal. If you don't participate, the whole system collapses. So those of you that have voted in a long, long time, those of you like to stay out of this nonsense and this chaos and this craziness, you're going to be the ones that can turn the tide. The ones that want to be left alone. They're going to have to stand up and say no. Do everything you can. Volunteer for local races. I know money is tight. Try to give money to the the Trump campaign. Try to give money to your state senators, your Congress members. We have to have some kind of check and balance to fight back. Supreme Court, thank God that Donald Trump, when he was president, got to put on three people on the court. Or this whole thing would have been over already. And I'm hoping the Supreme Court is at least a temporary remedy. We'll have to see. But they're going after justices now individually. Clarence Thomas, they call Uncle Tom. Justice Alito, because his wife had an upside-down American flag on her pole. They're going after him now. Uh, They asked the Supreme Court Justice Roberts 
that they wanted to talk about Alito and his wife, and Robert said, uh, no thanks. And he has no spine, and he said no. Now they're going after the court individually. Make no mistake. They will expand the court to the people they want, the ultra-progressive liberals, and they will dismantle this republic piecemeal. Electoral college, gone. Gone. Everything in the Constitution and the check and balance will be gone. Judicial branch and the executive branch and the legislative branch will all be one. The founding fathers were terrified this might happen. You have to do something. Stand up at the local elections. Help local candidates. Voice your opinion on social media, including this website. Do whatever you can. If you don't have any money, and I know things are tight because of inflation and other things, then volunteer. Knock on doors. Pass out flyers. Do what you have to do. Run for local school boards if you can. The brakes have to be put on this craziness. I'm sorry if, if I seem like I'm carrying on, but I've waited a whole day just to get my thoughts together. There's no turning back now. You can't be a conscientious objector. That's what happens in war. But you can't do that now. Everyone stand up and get in this fight. If you're not registered to vote, get registered. ASAP. Make your vote count. The biggest army in the world will be the American voters. We're going to have to see which side prevails. And the side that loses will be destroyed for decades, generations to come. I know this sounds very negative and very dark and bleak. And I'm sure George Washington in the beginning of the revolution was very dark and bleak. The same goes for the Civil War. It was dark and bleak. The same thing for the Americans at the beginning of World War II. It was dark and bleak. We have to stand together and fight this injustice. This lawfare has to stop. Even if the Republicans have to do what the Democrats are doing. We can't say, well, we're above that kind of thing. Those days are over. There are no rules anymore. The rules have been thrown out the window. This is a fight to the death. And one side is going to win. So 20 years from now, when this Democratic Republic is in shambles and your grandkid asks you, what did you do, Grandpa or Grandma? And this whole thing fell apart. And you'll look at them and you'll put your head down and say, I stayed out of it because it was too hard. Do you want that to happen? I think I'll stop now before I say things that I'm really going to regret. But if you have to watch this video again, then do it. Just to understand what's at stake. Until the next time, God bless, goodbye, and good luck. Mm -hmm.